Well, hello. We meet again. It's Monday, guys. It's a beautiful Monday. It's supposed to go up to like 80 degrees. I can't keep up with this weather. It was like freezing over the weekend. Now it's a beautiful, beautiful Monday, guys. And I'm here to talk to you guys about Monday and a little bit about self-esteem because I want you to remember that Monday sets the tone for the rest of the week. We got to start the week strong and we got to finish it even stronger. And always remember, guys, I constantly will repeat this to you. Success, happiness, confidence, whatever it is you want to achieve in life, whatever it is you want to get better at, it all starts with you because it's an inside job. It starts with your outlook. It starts with the positivity going through your brain. It starts with the thoughts, processing. It all starts with you guys. Remember, take control of what's going on. But also, I want to come at you guys with the 10 reasons why self-esteem is so important, why you need self-esteem. And I'm going to quickly go through them. And I have them written down in my notes over here, obviously, because I'm, you know, my memory's not that good. I can't memorize it all. But guys, I wanted to come at you with these 10 things because I think that they're important. And you might like them too. You might take something from it, guys. Write it down. What are you doing to be positive today? Did you set your goals for the week? Where are you going? What are you doing this week? What are you going to get done? All right, guys, so number one, right, you're more likely to take positive risks. You know you might fail, but you also know you might succeed. Just like we were talking about last week, you got to believe in your ability to handle challenges and your ability to, to achieve the goals that you've set for yourself, right? Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't be scared of failure, right? You're also less likely, number two, you're less likely to take negative risks because you respect yourself too much to put yourself in that position. Always pay attention to that, guys. Take a step back and look at the things happening around you. All right, it's positive, is it negative? Maybe you need to take a step back, maybe you need to take a step forward. But again, take a step back and assess what's going on around you, right? Number three, you're more, or you're less likely to succumb to negative peer pressure, right? You're not worried about what other people are saying, what other people are doing, because you're focused on yourself and making yourself better than you were yesterday. Number four, you're less likely to just follow the crowd to fit in goes back to number three, right? We don't care about other people. We're not going to succumb to that peer pressure. We're going to focus on where we want to go and what we want to do and be relentless in our positive steps towards that goal, towards wherever we want to be, right? Number five, you're strong, you know it, and you know that you can cope with life's challenges. No matter who you are, if you have a million dollars in the bank or you have zero, life gets tough. Problems arise, but do you have confidence in yourself to handle them? Again, something we were talking about last week. You can handle whatever comes that comes your way if you know you can. In your head, you either think you can or you think you can't. Either way, you're right, so stay positive. Number six, you're resilient. You can bounce back after mistakes. You can bounce back after disappointments because you know it's not going to last forever. You're going to keep moving forward. You're going to keep striving to be better, right? Be resilient because you're strong. Number seven, you set goals for yourself and you strive to reach them. I'm a fan of setting goals. It gives you direction, right? If you don't have direction in your life, where are you going? So stay focused on your goals and believe in yourself. Strive to be the best person you can be. You also feel free. Number eight, you feel free to explore your creativity and make the most out of your talents and abilities. Know how great you are and pursue that greatness, everybody. Pursue it. Don't let it go to nothing. Number nine, you can allow yourself to be happy because you know that it's worth it, because you know that you're worth it. Allow yourself to be happy. Stop holding it back. Stop holding it in. Allow yourself. Focus on your positive. Focus on the strength. Be grateful for for what you have. Be grateful. And number 10, you have a positive outlook on life. Remember, guys, it starts with you. Everything that I talk about, whether it's confidence or or success or achieving your goals, no matter what it is, if you want something to change, you have to start with yourself. You have to start with you because you are the most important person. You are going to take those steps. You're going to earn that goal. And you know what? When you strive, when you push, when you work and you achieve that goal, you're going to have that feeling of pride. And there's no feeling like feeling proud of yourself because you know you put that work in, because you know you achieved it, because you did it yourself. Guys, have a great week. I hope that you're taking positive steps and that you're loving yourself. I can't wait to see you guys on the mat. And if you have any feedback, please give it back to me. Show me some love on this video because we got more coming to you. Monday sets the tone for the rest of the week. Be sure that you're loving yourself and you're working on your self-esteem because confidence is key. Have a great day, everybody.